What's up guys? I want to give you guys a tutorial on how to use Viggle. Now, if you guys are in crypto Twitter, you have seen so many of hilarious Charles Hoskinson, Pauly of these Lil Yachty edits. How do you get started? I'm going to show you guys very easily. I made this one with Vitalik. I made another one with Brad Garlinghouse. And the key is you want a full body image. If you don't, it's okay. But if you don't have a full body image, the result has artifacts and kind of this glow and sheen. So it's best to have a full body image. Now, you don't have to provide it a white background. It doesn't have to be a PNG. You can use WebP. You can just give a JPEG and it will remove the foreground from the background automatically. But these are the images I used. I edited them quickly in Photoshop to give it you know, a kind of a head start, like better content to use. So where you can use a head to toe reference, that's their guide also. Coming back to this, you will of course spit out 16 by nine with a small watermark. We have two examples, but how do you get started? Well, when you're in the Viggle Discord, you just join it like a normal Discord. The key is to go to the animate one, any of these, there's 10 of them. Now let's set some baseline you can't do more than one simultaneous queue. And before we get started with the queue, it's super important you don't forget about one thing, which is the prompts. The prompts are extremely, extremely important. If we go viggle.ai, the prompt. So use this as your reference because this is what you will copy to tell it what to do. I'm gonna mostly focus on the slash animate. There is slash mix and slash ideate, which are different, but most people are using slash animate, which takes a static image like Brad Garlinghouse and can turn it into a clip like this with the video and audio, right? And it's physics based, which is really cool. You get that flat image. It's best to have a front facing image, but work with the best that you do have. You know what I'm saying? I've experimented with a variety of stuff. So we know that these are very important. We know we need a head to toe to make the most out of the really good Lil Yachty clips. Well, what's the next step? In Discord, when you've joined and you're thinking, well, I have my prompt, you do slash forward slash animate. And when you do that, it's going to bring up a couple of stuff. Just hit space after slash animate. It's gonna want the image. So what image will you use? This is the static image. I'm gonna come to uh, some static images I have. I will drop in, for instance, like, Brad Garlinghouse, just throw that in. Okay, so we have the head to toe image. Now, this is the prompt. So that's one of the prompts that are available over here. Now, because I want Lil Yachty, I'm gonna copy this one. It gets copied to the clipboard, hit okay. Come back to Discord, just go ahead, Control uh, V or Command V, paste it in. Now, this is key. You might think that background means what are you giving, but it's not input related. It's the output background. So if I want Lil Yachty, I need to click template. I made the mistakes of clicking white and green. So I'm going to save you guys time. Click from template. Now, of course, if you want to chroma key it, then do green. We're almost done. The last setting is fine tune. You can uh, click from on or off. Turn on fine tune. This will help to increase the fidelity in the detail. That's it. We have now as a recap, we're doing slash animate. Image is Brad Garlinghouse head to toe. Um, as clean and as front facing as top to bottom as a photo that you can find. Motion prompt is grabbed from this, of course, where you guys can browse a variety of different content and choose that final output destination. Do you want it to be the template? Do you want it to be green screen? Do you want it to be white? I'm doing template because I want the Lil Yachty stage. Otherwise, it'll just be Brad jumping on like green screen or white with the same audio and, and whatnot. Fine tune on, let's go ahead and hit enter. Now I do have one in queue, so hopefully this one goes forth. See what happens. Okay, so I'm currently in queue. Author Alexander, you're in queue. Um, a lot of people are typing find in here to try and find it. You gotta wait about 20, 30 minutes. Yesterday was really high demand. Um, how do you find your stuff? Well, you just have to come to the search and search your username. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in Crypto Camel. That's my username on Discord. I'm gonna hit search. Nothing comes up, right? Well, what's going on? Let's type in from, search from Crypto Camel. 
No, again, that didn't work. So maybe they made some changes here. Let's try one more time. Crypto camel. I'm glad you guys are seeing this in real time, like what it's like. So maybe they did a little reset on stuff. I'm gonna type in find in here. Now keep in mind, like I said, you can't go to animate two, three, ten, and do some more simultaneous ones. You can only do maximum one at a time. Uh, but there's some delays. Sometimes you can sneak in another prompt as one is still not ready for you. Uh, when it is finished, you will be tagged. So when you search your username, you'll see the MP4, the image. Now do keep in mind, everyone can see this. So if, if you're making some viral content, be quick with it because people will both see it. So if there's privacy you're, you're trying to pay attention to, it's all public. So everyone will see the content that's generated here. So for instance, this person also did. Uh, Lil Yachty entrance, fine tune off, off or on, just experiment. And we can see this was the source image head to toe in a pretty good result. They can just download the MP4 right there. Let's try uh, one more time to see if we can get this to come up. Because I thought maybe like, you know, someone will probably benefit from, from this. Yeah, no results. Uh, let's see if it's because of the streamer mode. Maybe it's because of that. Yeah, from, hmm, interesting. Let's come to the key FAQ and let's come back to this. There is this, which says, how do I find my generations, right? And it says, just enter your username at the top right. Same thing I've been saying. Yeah, new, old, relevant. Okay, so maybe there's some things changing right now. Take that with a grain of salt. But ideally, when you search your username and then it shows from your username, in my case, from Crypto Camel, it will then show you a history of the stuff that you've created and you'll be able to click it right from this tab on the right and be able to see uh, that content. It is what it is. Like some of this stuff is um, a little volatile given the abundance of people that have been joining. So I'll see if I can also, yeah, nothing coming up for me here, which is interesting. Uh, let's try one more time from before, I say Crypto Camel, that's very bizarre. Show members list. That is what it is. There were some downtimes with it, but generally last night I got some hilarious clips generated. Got a bunch that I made uh, from this. There were ones like, um, and this is like, it, it all originated from this. Like when I saw this. So Charles Hoskinson doing his thing. You'll be able to create stuff even without the full body. I gave it uh, Dave Portnoy and I didn't have the full body, but I did get a result like, this it was pretty good we had we had this one it was, it was not bad but you notice what i'm saying about the shimmer so because i didn't give it pants it kind of like has this sheen and like artifacty glow it's pretty good though i mean it gave him like brown shoes and jeans so he kind of knows a little bit of the context but anytime you give it like full full stuff it's a lot better i did try like an alternative like i saw hitman and i'm like wait a second there's a really good photo of vitalik would it work to put Vitalik on him and then give that? Because then this was what I had, but it generated something really bizarre, both in the old Yachty one and not so much that one. There was another one and it looked so whack. Like it didn't even look like, here it is. Didn't even look like, like you see what I mean? So if you're going to stick with the little Yachty one, those ones, those motion based ones that have a template background seem to be yielding the best benefit. Um, I was really impressed with the Brad Garlinghouse. This one turned out epic. I mean, this one's really good. And again, it's because of that head to toe. The head to toe. If you give it head to toe, it has a lot more context and you don't get that kind of glowy, artifacty uh, type of experience. So just sharing this with you guys so you can have a head start. Do check it out. It's free. There's nothing. Um, there's no cost right now. And I would love to see if they improve this. I gave uh, also like experiment... I did give this, so there was one I had of, um, it's WebP, not like something I custom made, Gary G, head to toe, and uh, the result was this, I gave it the Joker prompt. Not too bad, audio and everything. So not too bad, I mean obviously up close the face is not like as good as Gary, right? But. I mean, approximately. And I mean, if this is just early, early beta, which is beta, if you guys get into this, you're going to have a competitive advantage over some people, make some hilarious stuff. Here's the last one I'll show you. 
Yeah, so some of them are cringe, but it's like, imagine now, like, you have a meme coin, you throw on a prop, he's mogging. There's a lot of opportunities. Maybe you do green screen, you start stacking. So I think the beauty with this will be mix and match. Polly was retweeting it. Charles Hoskinson was retweeting it. So clearly, like, it's exciting, people. Let's come back before we wrap up. Just see if anything's going on with this. Um, if I can get a, an idea of what's going on with my... Um, yeah, that's so weird. That's so weird. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it on like maybe the there's some downtime. Maybe there's something like that going on. Clearly, it's still working. So the key is that eventually you're gonna see your content generated in here. The person, the author, gets tagged. So as long as you search your name, you find it. This is a good example, right? They gave him the blast. See, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, right? like so. Uh, here in this case, it's just top, right? Let's see what it did. And you see how I say it has that shimmer. So do check it out. Like I said, it's one at a time. Full body works the best. Be mindful that the background is the final output, whether it's white, green, or the uh, template. Uh, let me know. Have you guys already experimented with this tool? It's been popping. People are just pouring into here, doing some funny stuff. Here in this case, like the guy just has top, right? Just down to the pants. But look, like pretty good. Again, that shimmer. But there's a lot that you can do to stitch together a static image to a video in a variety of ways. They have the other couple of modes I said, mix and ideate. I'll make another video dedicated to that. Do check this out. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that subscribe, hit that like. I'll see you in the next Angry Crypto Show.